I'm Amory Lovins. I co-founded Rocky Mountain Institute in 1982. I'd always had a vision of a world thriving, verdant, and secure for all forever. We have held the same vision since and gotten better at turning it into a reality. Rocky Mountain Institute always has been a thought leader about the energy transition. But Amy didn't want to just create a think tank. He wanted us to do things. So we've always gone under the mantra of a think and do tank. To get this done with broad appeal in a diverse and often uh, politically splintering society, it's absolutely vital that we be scrupulously apolitical, nonpartisan, and independent in 36 years now, I don't think we've ever had our independence questioned. RMI has such a spectacular track record of being at the forefront of, of thought on clean energy and, and how to transform uh, markets and technologies. There is a growing awareness among an ever-growing amount of people, an ever-growing number of people, that something really needs to be done about the climate to, to keep our planet as it is now. The most important contributions that RMI will make are still in the future because the urgency of the transformation is becoming clearer. And the one thing that Amory has always uh, done that impressed me is relentlessly assert and then prove that it's good economics, and not only to switch to cleaner energy, but also to have conservation as the first option. And we don't have all the time in the world to make this energy transition now, so for the last 35 years, what RMI has done has made a real difference. You know, at this moment, we have 1.2 billion people on this globe without access to energy. And I really do hope that because of the work RMI is doing, for instance in Africa, but also in Asia, this number will be brought down. By investing in RMI, you bet on passionate people who know their stuff and who work day in, day out to create that energy future that will make the planet sustainable for our children and grandchildren. My hope is that future generations will be able to look back and see that we, that we actually succeeded uh, despite the challenges ahead because of how motivated uh, so many parts of society are to tackle this problem. We have some special value and we're, we're blessed to have supporters who understand why that's important. We couldn't do our work without them. They bring us ideas and contacts and connections that are very valuable in making our work even better. We love to engage with you, we love to make you part of our journey, and we love to share with you the impacts that we're having. Climate protection and, and the other diverse outcomes that we're creating uh, will not be easy or automatic. You can't sit back and hope it'll happen or wait for somebody else. We all have a lot of hard work to do. But because what we are spreading in the world makes sense and makes money and can therefore be business-led and market-driven and produces many outcomes that many people of many different beliefs and persuasions want, we are really going in the right direction. The, the wind is at our backs. We, just need to uh, hoist more sails. <laughs>